Hello everyone, uh, this is Swartwar Simbi here, back with another Star Wars Republic video. Today I have you guys in another Star Wars Republic highlight video. In today's highlight, we are going to be uh, going over and uh, revisiting uh, the Eternal Championship. Now, the Eternal Championship uh, is an arena that is on Zakul, where you fight uh, different uh, bosses that have special mechanics to uh, get the rewards. Now, personally, this is a very, very fun arena, and I really do like uh, revisiting this, and I really haven't done it in quite a while. I did, of course, uh, or actually with uh, some friends, I went into a group and decided to just uh, try and fight the boss for, you know, trying to get someone in the Cybernetic Rancor, but in general, just going solo, I haven't really done this in quite a bit, and I really think it is something that is awesome uh, that uh, should be looked at and played in uh, the uh, game. Now, a quick uh, little disclaimer, of course, uh, with uh, this video, I did uh, complete, uh, you know, the first couple rounds just to get a quick uh, little feel of uh, just the Eternal Championship again, because in this video, even though it's not really a speedrun or anything like that, I still do want to, uh, you know, complete it and clear it uh, pretty quickly, because that is always fun, and of course, uh, making my companion damage makes it, uh, you know, the stakes a little higher, so that always is exciting. So uh, that's going to be it uh, for this uh, quick little intro of the highlight. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And let's get right into that arena. Alrighty, guys. Uh, so we are just in this highlight right now. So as you can tell, we are at the Arena Grand, the Eternal Championship. So as mentioned, this is a video essentially just uh, revisiting uh, the Eternal Championship. I'm going to try it my best to uh, complete it as fast as possible, but honestly, I will still loot, uh, you know, enemies. I will uh, do uh, some mechanics that aren't, uh, you know, quite correct, because let's be completely honest, like I said, this is a uh, revisiting video, and I used to constantly uh, actually uh, do uh, this uh, whole entire thing right here, just the uh, Eternal Championship. I really did like it, but uh, at the same time, like I said, I haven't done it in quite a while. So this is mainly just going to be a video where I am uh, just uh, going back to it, revisiting it, and just seeing uh, what I can do. So we're just going to take down uh, that enemy right there, and then we are going to move on uh, to uh, this uh, next fight. But yeah, if you didn't know, the Eternal Championship, essentially this uh, was a, uh, a kind of like game mode slash uh, little thing that they added into uh, Star Wars Zero Republic. And it is a uh, pretty cool. Essentially, it's just uh, mimicking a bunch of different uh, boss mechanics and fights, kind of getting you prepared for operations in a sense. But it is very fun, in my opinion, at least uh, definitely the first time through. It is uh, definitely something fun uh, to uh, just experience and actually do. But I haven't uh, done it in quite a while, so I am essentially just revisiting this and just uh, seeing what I can actually do. Just uh, trying to take down enemies. And then just uh, seeing how everything goes. So unfortunately, this guy is going to spawn in. And normally, he shouldn't spawn in, if I remember correctly, if you do take down uh, that boss fast enough. So we're going to uh, just uh, continue to move on uh, once again. It's no big deal. But uh, my companion also is a damage roll because you do want to go uh, through this uh, pretty uh, quickly. And if you just want to uh, get credits... I remember a long time ago, this would actually be one of the ways that, that I did make credits uh, because you would get the old uh, crafting components from uh, these boss fights. And unfortunately, uh, the uh, crafting components and such are basically the same. I mean, they didn't really just change them, unfortunately, sadly. I mean, I mean the main thing is is you would used to be able to get like uh, the isotopes, they just the exotic ones, not the refined ones that uh, did appear with level 70. So, uh, a lot of people, including myself, just made videos on it, you know, discussing you could get crafting materials and you could really make a lot of credits. But they kept those the same, so it isn't really that great of a credit uh, making, uh, you know, option. But I believe, you know, refined isotopes still can drop uh, from these boss fights, anyways. So they did update the loot table in uh, that uh, sense. So we're going to try to push uh, this one boss right here. Now I don't want my companion to uh, push this boss. And I actually just messed up pretty badly. I uh, took a nasty fall. And I really didn't want to take a nasty fall completely. Uh, just uh, being completely honest. I did kind of mess up right there. I am not doing the mechanics almost right at all in this unfortunately. And that is uh, very sad. But we do have to deal with it sadly. 
So we're going to have to take down all these enemies. We are going to still loot at the boss, because why not? But that was a, quite the mess up. But once again, this is a revisiting video. This isn't really a video where we've been uh, training for this, just getting prepared for it. One thing that is also nice about this is I remember when they did uh, the mechanic, or essentially they did a contest to see how fast people could complete this. But at the same time, when that happened, I think there was something uh, where if you decide to slash stock after you failed the mechanic or you didn't complete it fast enough, they completely like voided all of your runs, which is still to this day, I think that is completely ridiculous. But I mean, that's what a lot of people would do. They would obviously slash stock to just reset their, you know, their runs, just try it to, uh, of course, uh, you know, just reset them so they could uh, go back to them later or just get a run where it was really perfect and they did enough damage to complete everything quick enough. And I remember seeing some pretty crazy runs, just really insane runs. I don't even know what, honestly, like the best uh, time for this is, but it, you can definitely look them up on YouTube and kind of see uh, them just overall. So I'm just going to uh, go over here, just to uh, heal up, and then I'm just going to go ahead and uh, get uh, some extra health. Now this boss fight is a quite a pain, this one right here, I always remember this boss fight because it is incredibly frustrating and can be pretty difficult at times. So I'm going to just reduce all the damage, just to try to survive this, because let's be honest, we're going to be taking an insane amount of damage during this fight, but we need to take down one of the bosses quickly, because if we take down one of them, then we won't have as many problems. I also have a healing, uh, uh, healing button right here. So if we do need to heal, that is an option. We're going to take down one of those enemies, and then we're going to move on to the Breaktown Brawler himself. That seems like uh, the most obvious choice, uh, just trying to take down uh, the uh, main guy himself. So we are taking quite a bit of damage, obviously, so we are going to reduce that. My companion is going to move on, but actually I do want him on the Breaktown Brawler right now. I want to take down this guy ASAP, because let's be honest, he is doing way too much damage. Unfortunately, he's going to knock me back because I didn't take him out quick enough. So we're going to move on. And this guy is now going to be enraged. But that is A-OK -okay because if we are careful, we shouldn't die to him since his other allies are now defeated. So here we go, just continuing to attack him. And the good thing about this guy is we can stun him. So just stun this enraged guy right here. And then we will be just good to go. So not too bad, I mean, definitely for not going through this Eternal Championship thing for a while, it is pretty good, but I mean, this is something to just heavily consider. Okay, so I'm going to just throw this guy, I'm going to stun him, and then I'm going to just continue all this stuff that I can do. Oh no, this is not good. This is actually kind of bad, because, okay, I'm wasting too much time, we're going to stun that guy right there. We're going to move on to Drake Raven. The main thing with this fight is we want to just stun the other opponent, basically the tank. We want to stun him, and then we want to move on to this guy and just take him out quickly. And that's the main thing with this boss fight. Okay, this is going to do a lot of damage. That ability is ridiculous. Okay, I'm taking too much damage. Too close for comfort. And it looks like my companion is going to clutch it, and he is actually going to stun one of the special abilities where he sends adds. I do actually remember that. So this enemy is going to enrage, and typically you would be all scared and whatnot, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to absolutely just rush, just run right into it, just use my reflect, not worry about any of the damage, just let all that damage just be reflected. And then we are going to take down the enemy. So now that commandos do have a reflect, obviously that can be cheesed very, very easily. I just think it's just interesting to go back to this. I mean, after not going to it for a while, it is pretty crazy. Okay, so this guy is going to despawn, I believe. Yeah, he is, so we don't have to actually worry about him. We move on to the Rancor. Who basically acts like the KP boss fight. I'm going to move out of the way real quick. Oh no. I need to get out of the way of that. Okay, that was that was very close. I'm very
very glad I succeeded in that. I'm going to quickly activate to this uh, bubble right here. I'm really hoping that we get good RNG because I think the apprentice holder just changes what he actually does just depending on the different things. Unfortunately, I'm going to get knocked down right here. I don't know why I pulled that up and that is going to be very unfortunate. Now we are in a pretty bad position. We are taking quite a bit of damage. As you can tell, a lot of bad things are happening. I'm in a bad situation. Since I'm in a bad area, I really can't move. So I'm going to have to unfortunately just uh, take all the damage right here. He's enraged, but we are going to take him out. So uh, pretty sure that was not a very good, uh, like, uh, successful clear of this fight. So like I said, I mean, there's a lot of ways you can really go about these things. And like I said, there were some really good speedrunners, especially when uh, there was uh, the whole entire event where you could win stuff uh, for Star Wars World Republic by running this. So I would highly recommend looking those up uh, since there are some crazy runs where people can complete this, you know, insanely quickly. But uh, we are going to just go ahead, go to the Doom Droid. Now, I remember this boss fight, uh, just a, a DPS race. That's going to be uh, the uh, main uh, thing of this game, essentially. So, I'm just going to wait. I'm just going to get ready for this. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and just uh, throw this on them right here. Let's throw all these abilities. I don't know why that's going to glitch right there. Just wasting some time. We're going to uh, just activate some defensives because let's be honest, we don't want to really waste time here. That's going to be the main thing we are focused on. We need to try and take down this guy as quick as possible. So he's just going to get our bubble back up so we get, uh, you know, extra health. And then he's going to uh, throw these missiles. So while he's throwing those missiles, I can just let my companion just continue to actually do damage. That is pretty convenient for me personally. Just extra time. Okay, so... Oh no, this is going to hurt a lot. We got out of it the last second. But it looks like our companion, unfortunately, was not uh, the same. Oh no, I'm taking a lot of damage. I'm taking a lot of damage. I'm going to have to use that right there. I forgot. I do have to actually activate this guy right here. So we're going to take him out. We're going to move on to this assault unit. And then now we are on the final fight. So this fight is going to be a little crazy. I won't lie. We need to be careful. So it's good because I have one healing station. So I'm not going to be able to use this one. But I will succeed. I can actually use this emergency culto, sta or culto station. Now this guy can break all these stations. So it is pretty useful to get these out of the way. And use them to succeed in fights. But... There's a couple of things I remember. We can reflect one of his beams. We can use a diversion as well. We can do quite a few things to combat this guy. You can actually stun him as well. So we're going to want to stun him in the beginning as well since he does uh, some pretty uh, crazy abilities. But the main thing is there's a guy in this tank and we are going to have to take down the guy in the tank uh, near the end. So we're just going to go ahead and throw this right here just to stun him uh, some more. That's the main thing for the beginning of this fight, is just uh, playing the stunning game. So he is going to uh, just continue to do abilities, uh, but we are going to just stun him. Stop uh, this uh, guy just completely. Oh no, this is a bad spot. I'm very too, you know, I'm too close. Just uh, quickly move out of the way. So we need to push this guy ASAP. Just uh, try to. Going to take uh, quite a bit of damage. Unfortunately, we are going to have to use our bubble. And there we go. We are going to have to move it to this guy right here. Going to take a lot of damage. So now he's back in the tank. So we're just going to go ahead and reflect, of course. So we're still taking quite a bit of damage. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to just eat it right now. Just eat a lot of the damage. Just quickly, just try to survive. We are so low. So there we go, just going to quickly uh, do that right there. Just activate the, the unity. This is not the best run, I won't lie. Okay, so now I'm going to activate this as well since we do honestly need it. Since my companion is way too low. So that's going to be very delayed. He was supposed to do that a while ago. So he's going to try and knock me back because there's going to be lightning on the ground. So hold the line, diversion, and then there we go. 
just to attack this guy like crazy since he's doing crazy stuff unstoppable force not gonna be able to use that and that should be the end of this fight so I'm going to stop my companion so we can make this quicker and then this tank is going to blow himself up so that is the eternal championship right there obviously it wasn't the best run at least in my opinion because I remember when I would run this so many times I had some pretty good runs not gonna lie but still, it is something that is worth revisiting. And honestly, I am pretty happy just to go ahead and just to see it in just, you know, all of its glory. But yeah, I think the main thing here is if you haven't done the Eternal Championship before, I would highly recommend trying it to do it and or revisiting it. Just a very fun thing to do if you haven't, you know, essentially cleared it in Star Wars The Old Republic. And more, you know, more so, maybe if you actually have before, it still is something uh, to consider and look at because I honestly uh, do think it is a fun uh, little thing uh, to do when you have some extra time. So that's going to be it uh, for this uh, quick uh, kind of a laid back uh, Star Wars World Public Highlight video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.